No. No, it's not the release of um, fuck. big, big, big news today. So big. <laughs> big news today. Article 5th now. Right, so first vlog done. Put it online yesterday. Uh, went went quite well. No, I like the reaction. Thank you. Um, but I've you know I've got to get tools right because my arms getting all achy when I'm walking about. Oh, God, what have I got? I'll show you what I've got. <laughs> Look at that. The all-purpose selfie stick. So if you see me walking about looking like a tit. What I'm doing, yeah? Creating. Creating videos for you. Hmm. Seems I've got this around the wrong way, haven't I? Definitely see the pole. <laughs> Alright, you go back in there. <coughs> Don't come out. I, I might have to invest in one of those. You know, special ones. Stick with the arm for now. Uh, but just going into uh, office in Bexley, gonna upload some. Uh, another property taken on for sale. It's a one bedroom up for 160. If you're interested, hit me up. Know what I mean? Successful day today. Uh, Monday is always busy, hard to film in most bits. But, but it's worth mentioning that if you are looking to, well, when you buy your first property, or if you're looking, even if you're looking for a property, what's good to have in your artillery your armory, your bits, you know, all your bobs, um, is to have your proof of funds at your disposal, your mortgage and principal in place, and that is just, you can even go to the bank and get one, they will sort of vet you, it gives you a better idea of your budget. And when an agent sees that, it then qualifies the offer, uh, and you can move a lot quicker. So. I had all that today, I had to get all those bits of information um, to take the offer to the vendor and then uh, they got accepted, so happy days. Jim now. No, this isn't a man bag. But I, uh, I am off to get my Andy Warhol on. Take some pictures of that one bed uh, that was on about yesterday. And uh, get some interior pictures, so um, hopefully it looks snazz. Lovely. Please wait, your call is in progress. Good morning, You're right, it's Kent's number one estate agent. Please enter. Thank you. So, another thing worth mentioning when buying or renting a leasehold property, one that I've just come out of now and taken, taken pictures of, um, is to make sure all the communal areas are nice. Just have a little look when you're, when you're going to view these properties. Stuff like the lift working, if they're all run down and dirty, then ding it off, mate. It's always a good sign if the management company has got a cleaning chart. Oh my God. That was cleaned on the 24th. It looks like it gets cleaned every week, so happy days. Big, 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 big news today. Nope, it's not Article 50 is getting triggered. No, so I'm getting a fresh trim. Hopefully, Barbara don't get angry with it. So, trim done with Brennan the Barber, up and coming. Check him out. Um, Love that, it will love that bit. So, yeah, just meeting up with the boss, uh, he's just doing a check in at the moment, so I'm just waiting on the corner of a street. Don't judge me, people. Certainly, something that's quite exciting at the moment is one of the guys that's buying a two bedroom property off me. Um, he's open to the idea of, of, of 
serviced accommodation, which is basically like a short-term rental uh, idea. Hopefully that'll be the start of, uh, of the um, new sort of property venture. And that's half the reason I'm, I'm doing this vlog as well, is to sort of document, document the journey, take you around there, show the, show the, um, the setup. And uh, I mean, my aim is to get one under my belt and then systemize it and, and monopolize. Systemize and monopolize. Like it. Stick with that.